Hey guys, Dan Howman back with another Watcher of Realms videos. Today I kind of want to compare the differences between drop rates in uh, the different dungeons. So I've been doing a lot of dungeons and I've been recording a lot of the drop rates. I want to talk about the difference not between gear raid 1, 2, and 3, but the differences between 18, 19, 20, and 21. I get a lot of questions or I see a lot of questions in Discord. Hey, you know. What, what is the big difference between these dungeons? So very first thing is obviously 18. So 17, you have a chance to get yellow gear, right? Um, so legendary gear. And then if you'll notice in 17, you can only get what, uh, let's not talk, let's not do gear raid one, sorry. <laughs> let's look at gear raid two, okay. 17, you can still get the yellows. Uh, you can get some of the reds, but only for the bangle, right? And then you get to 18 and they add in two of them. I think it's interesting that 18 doesn't have all of three of the different ancient pieces, right? So you're still missing the ring, right? You got bangle, you got amulet, you're missing the ring. You can see over here, including the ring. Um, and then you have to get to 19 and finally you're able to get the different, uh, I've been calling them ascended sets is what I've been calling them. But these two gold sets right here listed and then for the other dungeon there's two more, right? So. Um, this is, and these materials right here, the Eternal Bullion and the Primitive Spirit, um, those are used for upgrading the sets into what I've been calling the Ascended sets. Some people call them the Gold sets, um, so, you know, whatever, that's what we're talking about there. So, um, and then 20 and 21, you have no difference in the drop tables. You can see it is literally identical, uh, 19, 20, 21, they all have the same, um, it shows that they have the same drop rate. Uh, we're going to go through the actual drop rates. Uh, I've done at least, I don't know, 2000 runs in each of 19, 20 and 21. And I've done a decent amount in 18. So we can kind of compare what the drop rate is. Now I didn't track things like main stat and I kind of have a feeling that maybe stage 21, um, has better main stat rolls. Maybe you get a lot more attack percent rolls or something like that. I have not been tracking that. Um, maybe I'll, I'll try to spot check some of that data somehow, but, um, all right, let's pull up my spreadsheet. The link's always in the description. If you want to check it out, let me move myself out of the way here and kind of talk about some of the drop rates, um, for these dungeons. So Gear Raid 1, 20, um, Gear Raid 2, 20, Gear Raid 3, 20. I have these all totaled into the 20 here. So if you want to look at like different dungeons, you can, but uh, also you can kind of just focus on this uh, section right here. And we can just look at 18, 19, 20, 21. Obviously, 18, I have a very low sample size. So I am not very reliant on this data. The column I'm really curious on is this total ancient. So as I said, uh, ancient red gear and then ascended ancients. This is what I'm calling the gold sets. Um, you can see all of the different stuff. You can see the ascension mats. Those are the yellow mats that you get to upgrade pieces. Now, the biggest thing I noticed between 19, 20, and 21 is this ascended mats, right? So 7%, 9%, almost 11%. That is the biggest difference. It's a clear difference that I see there for that. Um, also 19, 20, 21, they seem to get the same amount of red gear, the same amount of ascended gear. So there looks to be no difference between the split of the gold ascended sets and the red sets, right? You can see uh, these are all pretty much the same and these are all pretty much the same here. So you can see that's pretty much the same, right? You can see that on 18, you get a little bit more red gear, but obviously you're not getting the ascended sets. So in general, you actually get less red gear than you do for 19, 20, 21. Makes total sense. Now, this is the interesting part is once you get to the total ancients, right? Uh, I got 0 0.7, 0 0.74, and 0.79. So honestly, these are so close together that these could be the same um, and I wouldn't figure that out until I had more run data, um, or it could be 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, you know, so maybe there's only a 0.5%, uh, sorry, 0.05% difference. So it's really not a lot of difference, right? Um, so if we look at 21 verse 19, you can see I spent 53k stamina, 64k stamina. So the amount of runs are kind of similar, but you can see the actual amount of ancients you get. If we go over to... Um, ancients over here, you can see 10 and 10 in stage 19, 
and 10 and 9 in stage 21. So literally, there is not a difference between 19, 20, and 21 when it comes to ancient gear. Um, I don't know if anyone else has been tracking drop rates for a while. I'm really curious to see if other people have found similar results. I have talked to one person in Discord who said he's been tracking the drop rate in stage 21, and he does think it's also around 0.75%. So I did get some confirmation there from someone else who's done a lot. I think he said he's done over 3,000 or so runs as well. Um, I just think it's quite interesting that there's not a big difference between 19, 20, and 21 in, in terms of ancients. It's really not a big difference. Um, so if you're in the game farming 19 or 20, um, it's really not a big difference because uh, ancients are really where you're going to get your good, your very good rolled parts, right? Uh, parts, um, gear, uh, definitely in there because. I mean, most of the time when you're rolling up the non-ancient gear, you just really don't get a lot of uh, good rolls. You know, you need to roll up lots of gear. Um, you can see, you know, ancients. Yeah, and this one, of course, has a blue roll. But I don't have any. I'm on the free-to-play account right now because I'm farming on the other account. I guess let's just check where we're at here. So if we uh, if we pull this up real quick, let's see what we're going on. See if we got anything uh, going on here. So this is stage 20. I'm farming right now. Um, and you can see no ancient so far, but a lot of these, um, like this is an okay piece. Uh, obviously it has no crit rate, which is, which is kind of sad, but, um, I just don't have a lot of luck rolling these up, right? Every time I'm rolling these up, uh, this one's okay. No attack percent, unfortunately, but, um, you know, every time I seem to roll them up, I, uh, unless it's an ancient, I'm not really getting good, um, drop rates, right? So, okay. Um, that's pretty much for the video. That's pretty much it for the video. Just wanted to kind of cover real quick um, the drop rates and what I've recorded so far. I do have a lot of data, so I kind of wanted to review it. I wanted to get close to about 3,000 runs on all of uh, the different dungeons, 19, 20, 21. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a couple hundred uh, runs and try to record um you know percent main stats or something because i'm curious if that is what is really making a difference because right now it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense um it just doesn't make a lot of sense to go through and spend a bunch of time getting to stage 21 when the drop rates are pretty much the same right um so i i do find that kind of odd I, I feel like you can spend so much stamina in this game and really only get a very very small handful of ancient gear um, I am surprised that the drop rates are so similar. I really am surprised that they're so similar. I thought there would be quite a big difference um, between these. And it's kind of funny because even stage 18, it looks like I'm getting about the same ancient drop rate. Now, I, I probably am just lucky because I do only have 677 runs on stage 18. Um, and some of it is on my free-to-play account, so... Um, I have a note down here that says, you know, this is all with the additional rewards active. Now, the additional rewards are only going to give you more gear, like red gear. Um, you do get, I guess, I, I guess you do get additional ancients as well if you don't, if you have that, um, I have got ancients in the, in the lower half as well. So, um, these are all your additional gear. This is for the, the pay to win privilege card. Um, I do get ancients in here every now and then. Um, obviously not as often as here, cause you can see you get a lot more drops in the regular drops than you do from having that, um, pay to win card, whatever that thing is called. Um, but honestly, I think for the money, that one is a pretty good budget because it's really nice to see extra ancients down here and extra pieces of gear and all that stuff. You don't get any of the ascension mats in this bottom section um, that I've seen or noticed you seem to only get them in the top but uh, you get the extra gear down here a little bit of gold and XP so okay that's it for the video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like and the subscribe button have a great day everyone I uh, just wanted to go over the drop rates because I got a big chunk of data so all right have a great day see you guys